What's going on guys? Update on everything today. Uh, doing a water change on this tank and the 10 gallon today. Uh, this is mid water change as you can see. So the water level is low, obviously. But uh, Drew always bugs me about seeing this tank so I'll show it. I don't really like to show it because it's not really looking that good as you can see. But um, we got the angel over here. He's a really cool fish so I do like him a lot, and then the German Blue Ram, which is right here. Pretty sure that's a female. A lot of pink on her belly. Um, I love the top fin on that angel. Got a lot of color to it. Here's the Ram. Added some Wisteria. Um, a bunch of Val, which I took out of the five gallon. There's like six or seven little stems in there, and uh, that's pretty much it with this tank. I will be uh, remodeling this pretty substantially uh, once I get that fry money, and that's this is where I'm going to put that money right here in this tank. So I look forward to that later in the future. Um, for sure, gonna fix this tank up and make it look nice. So uh, as of now, that's that tank. I'll bring you into my room. Here's the shell dweller tank. I just added a little bit of Rapashi for him to chow down on, which they're doing that right there. These guys are growing very well. I'm so happy. <laughs> and then we got some over here eating. A few down there. <laughs> Fighting over food. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they really like it. How to move that shell because they buried it all the way. And then a lot of you might not know, but there's a shell right there up to the, next to the glass. And I, my when I got my pair, they came in that shell. And it's a huge, it's like double an escargot shell. So, and I put that in there, and the first thing the male does is bury it. And it's finally peeking out. It used to, it's, it's always been buried, so. I, I even forget that's in there sometimes because they just bury it. Um... That rock actually fell down. That used to be upright, and then there's more rocks under that sand mound. A lot of just a lot of stuff gets buried in here um, and forgotten. But they're digging the uh, the spawn and grow. Really liking it. That guy right there is big. I think that's my largest. Where is he? I don't know. There's a few that are getting really big. Um, almost an inch. So a lot of, just basically a majority of them, even the smaller ones are getting larger, so. Um, that tank I just stirred it up, like I said, so it looks a little bit cloudy. Because um, that shell, uh, I had to get the sand out of there, but other than that, really pleased with how it's going in here. Um, can't wait to get these fry off my hands, I really can't. Last little shot of, where'd he go? This guy is probably my largest right there. I can almost guarantee that's a male, and I might, I don't know, it'd be fun to keep him, but, yeah, um, they should be getting, some of them should be getting stripes soon, which would be f pretty great. Uh, so I'll bring you to the five gallon, which, this I actually, uh, fixed it up a little bit, or I changed some things around, um, I'm gonna let the Rotala in the right grow grow out. Um, I'm th thinking about just skipping when I trim it. Um, just skipping that plant and letting it. I want to see it hit the surface. Um, and once it does, then I'll take it down. But um, The willow high grow in the back, I added two more stems that were uh, excuse me, previously uh, trimmed from that plant. So you can see where I cut it down right there. Um, I added one stem there and another right there. And you can see a few new leaves on that. And then this one's got a ton of new leaves um, growing on on it, and it's weird. I'm not sure if this is normal, but you can see the end of that plant how it fingers off. I'm not. I, I there's always like one stem when I re or when I trim that has like a finger on it. It's weird, and from what I remember, it goes away after a while. But uh, that one's kind of staying on there. Um, the pearl weed is getting thick, probably time to trim that. It's always a pain to trim that plant. 
because sometimes it uproots itself. I don't know why, but uh, always kind of a pain. The star grass is growing really well. Um, might trim that bit down right there where the roots are coming off and replant it probably back there. I'm kind of looking for a little star grass bush right there to uh, to accent the pearl weed. I think that'd look nice. And then this gap here is where the um, Italian Valley used to be. And what I did there was I trimmed the uh, Renecki off right there and replanted it down there. You can see the real pink stems. And it probably won't show up. I don't know if it will. But you can see where I trimmed it. They're not uh, pink anymore. And then the bottom's down there. Or the top part is on the left. And I'm going to try and get that moving over to the left. Um, I kind of just want to move that over more. Because I really do like that plant and I'd like to get more of it. So I'm going to propagate it a bit. And then even where I trimmed, you can see those pink, um, the pink on the very tops of them. Those are the new leaves that are going to come in. And then this is a broken leaf right there. You can see that's the bottom of the, hold on, let me focus. That's the bottom of those leaves. Um, and they get quite pink, which is really nice to see, especially at night when they close up. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, an update. Haven't done a real big one in a while. So that should fill everything, fill all the gaps that I've been leaving out. Um, oh, one more thing, <laughs> one more thing. Um, my narrow leaf Lugugia, I'm going to plant right there. And I had Kabamba there, and it never really did well. So I'm substituting this. This used to be in front of the Reneki, and I put it there instead. So yeah, this gap in the middle... Uh, will be filled up soon with a nice pink and bright plant and then other than that I think this tanks looking good uh, so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the video please leave it a like and uh, subscribe I also got um, a thousand subs kinda of forgot about that um, I'll have a contest coming out soon it's gonna be big so stay tuned for that for sure so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys